Hey guys, so today we're going to look at adding ESXi VMware host monitors uh, to APM, the Application Performance Management module that lives within HP IMC. So why do we want to look at doing this? Because apps are king. There is no question at all that without apps, there's no purpose for anything else within really the entire IT organization because that's where the business gets value. That's where your users get value. But if apps are the king, then the network is the throne because if the network is not stable, there's nothing to sit on. So with that, let's take a look at adding the monitor for ESXi for VMware. So here we are in the home page, and I'm assuming you've already installed the APM module. Again, that's also available as a free trial from the home page, uh, from the HP webpage. So resources, and down here at the bottom, application manager. And the first thing we're gonna do is go into configuration and what we're going to do is we're going to create a template. So this is just like the templates from the normal IMC platform, but these templates are used specifically for APM. So we're going to click on Template, and then we're going to go down. Just hit V, and it'll take you straight down to VMware ESX. Click OK. And here's the template. So we just put in the username and credentials, put in a, a good name um, for the name of the template, obviously. That's descriptive that you're going to be able to find this later. Um, description of it, template for VMware ESXi credentials. We have the polling interval on the next, uh, we'll put APM credentials. Um, polling interval here is five minutes time. You could bounce this up, take it down, whatever you feel, and then put in the username and password. Uh, I am using the root username and password because this is a lab environment. You probably want to check with your VMware guys and make sure that they give you a um, an account that's going to have the right privileges for you to be able to manage it or monitor it sorry um, but you don't probably want to have be using the root account probably not our best practice so now that we've got that uh, set up we're going to go and actually create the ESX application monitor so click on add we're going to scroll down here to the bottom and go to the virtual machine monitors you can see here we've got not just VMware we've got Microsoft KVM Citrix so we're going to click on the VMware and now we're going to select this. So I've already got a couple of ESXi hosts and a vCenter sitting in my IMC inventory. These are being managed by VNM, the virtual network manager, out of the base platform. Um, so I'm going to go and add this. So dot eight. And I could put in the credentials manually here if I wanted to. But in my case, I am going to use the template. So we're going to take the name and just cut it and paste it into the description here. Again, it's always best practice. Always put a description in, even if it's just VMware ESXi 10.101.08 um, hostname IP address and now we're going to click on that configure button and we're going to go grab that template that we have just created. So you see here that the polling, the username, password, all that's grayed out because all that is getting pulled directly from the template. So now we're going to click OK and this is going to take a couple seconds uh, depending on the speed of your network you know 100 meg, gig, 10 gig this is going to take different times and of course on the performance of your servers so right now this is going out and querying the ESXi servers and making sure that all my credentials are right and that I can pull the information. You can see successful. So we can click on this right away, but probably first what we want to do is start pulling. So we may have to wait up to that five minute mark just to even get your initial information in here. All right, so we'll start pulling right away. And then we'll click on this and we'll see actually if that has started or not. There may be other processes running within IMC that prevent it from starting right away. Um, look at that, okay, we have no data. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna give this a little bit of time to populate, and we're gonna close this one down. And we will go to the other VMware ESXi for 10.101.04. So I know this is a monitor I already had set up for the .4 uh, ESXi hypervisor, right? So you can see here there's a lot of great information in the monitor. We've got all the hardware information, the build version, um, all the attributes as far as the CPU, RAM, all that good stuff, available memory on the box. And then as we go down here to the bottom, you can actually see the VMware running status, right? So we can see which ones are stopped, suspended, started, the connection status, um, what the startup time is, memory, heartbeat, all that good stuff, right? So a lot of great information here. 
So now we've given the, the dot eight enough time here. We can see that this is available, healthy, and managed. Let's go back in and see if it has managed to pull some data from that server. And just like magic, monitor information, availability, software information, hardware information, and VMware running status, all of it, all there. Right, so this is adding, this is the kind of information you'll get when you add a ESX monitor. And you'll get something similar for the other hypervisors. Again, mileage may vary depending on what instrumentation is available from the specific hypervisor vendor and the version you're using as well. So one of the other nice features of APM is the application topology. And we're gonna build this out over the next few videos. So you see here, I've got ESXi running on top of 10.101.04, right? So it's gonna be interesting to see what this is going to turn into. So we'll have a dependency topology and we can go and look at the application monitor straight from here. See you guys next time on the next IMC management tutorial.